Hello, nice to meet you, everybody. My name is Taisei Yamamoto, broadcasting from Kobe, Japan. I'm very happy uh, to see you all on the screen. Uh, and uh, thank you very much, uh, Liv and Daniel, uh, and other staff of BBAM um, to give uh, this kind of opportunity. Yeah. So, this time I was given the mission from Liv, and uh, this title and title is Movement Quality and Bars MQE a step of implementation in Japan. So uh, I would like to introduce myself and uh, my experience of BBAT in Japan and clinical situation and seminar uh, what I have done in Japan twice a year. Then after that, I want to share uh, some knowledge uh, of theory of BBAT regarding to sense of self. Uh, because uh, this point is very important to understand and uh, clinical critical point critical point of uh, human movement. Yeah. So next slide coming uh, introduce myself. Yes, this is uh, my background. I work at uh, Kobe Gakuin University Kobe Japan as a teacher since 2005. Before, I work at General Hospital as a physiotherapist. Also now, I work at Psychiatric Hospital once a week as a physiotherapist in occupational therapy program. This is a little bit tricky uh, because uh, uh, physiotherapy cannot work uh, for psychiatric symptoms. Uh, in Japan, but many clinical workers uh, have understood physiotherapy is uh, much much more valuable for person with psychiatric disorders. But this idea is not so general and uh, very um, minority thinking. Yeah. The other hand, I teach uh, physiotherapy in. Uh, neurology and assessment method and the therapeutic exercise in my university. Then uh, right bottom photo. Uh, this is my university. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Yes. So about my BBAM education, I studied at Bergen University College uh, in Bergen, Norway. I uh, graduated 2011. Uh, after graduate, I continued uh, to join BBAM uh, education around 10 years uh, because I need uh, much more understanding of theory and the practice of BBAT. Yeah, now I focus on basic body awareness methodology, BIBAM. So BIBAM is very, very excellent educational framework. Yes. So next slide, I introduce my clinical situation briefly. So in clinical situation, uh, I treat uh, some types of patient uh, Diagnosis is borderline disorders and schizophrenia and depression. So I introduced one patient. She is borderline disorders, uh, but she is enough muscle strength, range of motion, and bodily sensory. She doesn't have any pain and communication. This is very good. But she is not enough alignment, balance, easy to fall. Attention, listen, movement harmony, and unity in movement. This is uh, not enough. Then we are thinking, how do physiotherapy act to this kind of patient as a physiotherapist? This is a very, very uh, difficult. I think general physiotherapists think 
this is very difficult. But we have uh, one kind of method. This is VBAT. Yeah. So next slide. I introduced uh, my seminar course, a three days course seminar in Kochi, Japan, in summer. I started this, uh, this seminar since 2015. Then now, 2020, we have a plan to do that. So this sem seminar course uh, composed three days. First day is uh, start afternoon and middle day is full. And uh, last day is until noon. So left side photo is a very uh, good photo, I think. So this is a sitting and uh, left side. Oh no, right side. This is a sitting guide, uh, sitting guide. And under this, uh, lying on the floor and uh, under the photo is uh, standing movement. And uh, in the spring, I also have a three day, days seminar course. This is also same structure. Uh, first day is the start, uh, afternoon, and the middle day is a full day, and the last day is until uh, uh, afternoon. Uh, until noon. So, but uh, this uh, seminar course focused on the bars. So we. We try the assessment practice of the bars and uh, uh, clinical situation uh, in bars. So we are practice uh, of uh, bars. So I have uh, twice a year um, done uh, this kind of uh, uh, three-day seminar course. Mm -hmm. So this slide uh, is uh, uh, one kind of uh, knowledge of uh, the theory of Bivat, I think. So this man <laughs> is uh, Sheridan. Sheridan is a biologist. She, he said, uh, we have uh, three different types of sense. One is uh, exteroception, one is uh, proprioception, and one is uh, interoception. So these uh, three are uh, very deep connection with each uh, sense. Exteroception is connected with sense of agency. Proprioception is connection with uh, sense of ownership. And interoception is connected uh, to the sense of existence. These three senses are also connected awareness level. So sense of agency is connected to movement awareness and sense of ownership connected to the body awareness and sense of existence is connected to self-awareness. This three awareness is called the minimal self by Chong Gallagher. So she, he said uh, this minimal self is uh, one of the component to update of narrative self. So this minimal self and narrative the self is component of sense of consciousness. So this uh, theory is a very, I think, very important to understanding the uh, connect with uh, self and body. So it's a very deep connection with uh, self and body. Yeah. <laughs> so next slide. I use uh, this uh, basic uh, uh, thinking. Then I just think uh, component of minimal self is uh, very important to interoceptive and proprioception. So these two are uh, make the body awareness. Then body awareness uh, act uh, in the environment then it makes a uh, movement awareness. So awareness of self-movement through external environment and internal condition. And this uh, word said by Leif. So it's a very, very important, I think. 
So I have uh, sometimes using a metaphor. Uh, do you know the car navigation system? So this car, center of the red sign, car, is I am. So this is I. So this car is act on the map. Map is environment. If these two are not connected, connect each other, its navigation system is uh, not work enough. So I am work on the environment. This is a very important. And this movement awareness is core for the uh, movement quality. I think so. Then this is the uh, last slide. So movement, uh, human mu movement, it's a dysfunctional movement or the very beautiful movement. What uh, is uh, observed point? So uh, we have a method of the quantity observed method. So range of motion and the muscle and muscle and endure and the respiration and the pulse. And this kind of quantity side is uh, very important, but uh, quality uh, paradigm is also very important. So, uh, because uh, floor and uh, rhythm and elasticity and intention and tension and emotion, this kind of quality side is uh, very uh, important to uh, explain the human movement. So, then we are learning about uh, movement quality. Mm. So I think uh, BBAT is essential treatment method uh, for every physiotherapist around the world. Uh, I think uh, mm, BBAT is not one of uh, uh, one of uh, physiotherapy technique. Uh, BBAT is a physiotherapy as such. And then BBAM is very important education for every physiotherapy as well. Uh, this is my message for you. And uh, thank you very much. And see you again <laughs> something, sometime. Yeah. See you. And good luck to you. Bye-bye.